You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the newly appointed Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Telecommunications Company, Batelco, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa at Gdabia Palace. His Royal stressed that telecommunication companies must continue to prioritize service, product, and infrastructure development to improve the sector's competitiveness. He noted that the telecommunications sector continues to play an essential role in the Bahraini economy. His Royal underlined the effectiveness of Bahrain's advanced regulatory framework. Noted that the work of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority and the Ministry of Telecommunications and Transport has been instrumental in ensuring that Bahrain's telecom sector remains an example of international best practice. Board member of Betelco, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mtawa, met with the Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs of the UN, Liu Zainmin, in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar, in line with the Kingdom's presentation of the first National Voluntary Report on Sustainable Development Goals 2030 as part of the UN's Economic and Social Council's high level political forum held in New York. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation for the UN's support to the Kingdom during the preparation of the National Voluntary Report, hailing the efforts of the Under Secretary General. General for Economic and Social Affairs in following up on the implementations of the Sustainable Development Goals. He expressed the Kingdom's pride in its cooperation with the UN to support the Kingdom's efforts in sustainable development. He stated that the Kingdom's participation in the forum and presenting its voluntary report highlighted its progress in implementing the commitments of Sustainable Development 2030. Al-Mtawa commended the vital role of the forum in supporting the implementation of Sustainable Development Goals and the exchange of expertise and best practices in this field. He reiterated the Kingdom's commitment to achieving the goals of Sustainable Development 2030, highlighting the achievements the Kingdom made in the education, health, housing and infrastructure fields. al noted that the Kingdom organized this week a number of events in cooperation with the UN organizations and a number of countries on housing and labor. He added that Bahrain's delegation also met with officials in the Sustainable Development Department where cooperation and topics related to Sustainable Development Goals were discussed. al invited the Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs to visit Bahrain for further coordination in supporting the Kingdom's sustainable development efforts and identifying Bahrain's achievements in this regard. For his part, the Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs praised Bahrain's keenness on strengthening international cooperation with the UN and organizations specialized in sustainable development. He also lauded the data in Bahrain's first voluntary report, which indicated this progress in that field, affirming the Council's readiness to provide support to Bahrain in order to achieve further advancement. Cabinet Affairs Minister Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al-Mtawa and the accompanying delegation held a meeting with the Executive Director of the United Nations Human Settlement Program, UN Habitat, Maimouna Mohammed Sharif, in the presence of the Minister of Housing on the sidelines of the UN's Economic and Social Council's high-level political forum in New York. The Cabinet Affairs Minister affirmed that Bahrain's 2030 Sustainable Development Goals, presented in the first National Voluntary Report, will continue through the policies and plans that fulfill the aspirations of the Kingdom. He expressed Bahrain's appreciation for its comp Cooperation with the UN and its agencies, as well as its support to all activities of the UN Habitat Program in various fields. He congratulated Maimouna Mohamed Sharif on her appointment as Executive Director of the UN Habitat Program, wishing her success. And Mtawa affirmed the Bahraini government's keenness on strengthening relations with the UN Habitat Program, recalling the special citation of the UN Habitat's Scroll of Honor Award. His Rohanis, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has received in recognition of his achievements in the urban development of Bahrain. He also recalled his Rohanis' initiative to create an international award in his name that supports and encourages ideas that contribute to the promotion of housing and urban development initiatives. He noted the meeting he held with a global urban observatory in which they discussed methodological developments of indicators and goals related to urban development used by the international community, and monitoring and evaluating global urban conditions and trends and the extent to which Bahrain has reached this field. The Minister of Housing hailed the cooperation between Bahrain and the UN Habitat Program and the support it provides to Bahrain and the housing field. He also invited the executive director to visit Bahrain to attend the 5th Arab Housing Conference, which will be held on the 11th until the 13th of December. The UN executive director expressed thanks and appreciation for Bahrain's efforts that support the message and activities of the program and for its keenness on implementing its international commitments in the field of sustainable developments. She hailed the interests and initiatives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister that support the program, most notably the Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Sustainable Development. She affirmed the program's keenness on reinforcing forcing cooperation with Bahrain. 
The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Brahim Lamtawa, congratulated the Saudi delegation on the remarkable presentation they made during their review of the first Saudi voluntary report during the UN's Economic and Social Council's high-level political forum held in New York. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs stated that Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, has made ample achievements in the field of sustainable development with its various dimensions and has given considerable attention to national initiatives in the public and private sectors and civil society organizations. He he added that the remarkable review presented by Saudi Arabia demonstrated its sustainable growth and advanced initiatives. The minister asserted that the efforts of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and serving pilgrims, affirmed to the world its leading role in that regard. The Saudi delegation hailed the kingdom's efforts to achieve the largest number of sustainable development goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the annual reception of the Bahrain British Friendship Society held at the Churchill Hall in the British House of Commons in the presence of a number of British MPs, including the chairman of the Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group, Connor Burns. Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed praised the established deep rooted friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which places the two countries in an ideal position to seize future opportunities and gives them a base of confidence for a bright future. He conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa. Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain to all members of the Bahrain British Friendship Society and their wishes for success. He affirmed that Bahrain is moving forward in all areas of development to achieve more prosperity despite all the challenges and developments in the region, highlighting the deep rooted bilateral relations and joint cooperation. He praised the official opening of the United Kingdom Naval Support Facility in Bahrain. And and the growth of trade exchange expressing his confidence that relations between the two countries will continue to grow at all levels to achieve common goals and enhance security and prosperity in the region. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed expressed sincere thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the Bahrain British Friendship Society and all its partners and members for their important role in strengthening ties between the two countries, wishing for the society to continue its full role in the development of mutual friendship between the two nations. He added that the efforts of the Bahrain British Friendship Society are highly appreciated by His Majesty the King seeing as His Majesty attaches great importance to the friendly relations with the UK and to the role of the Bahrain British Friendship Society in supporting these relations. For their part, the members of the Bahrain British Friendship Society expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his support for all the activities and initiatives of the society, affirming their pride in their role in enhancing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom in various fields, as well as their keenness to continue and develop this role for the benefit of the two friendly countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Alastair Burt, on the sidelines of the Foreign Affairs Minister's official visit to the United Kingdom. The Foreign Affairs Minister hailed the historic deep rooted relations between Bahrain and the UK, affirming the Kingdom's pride in those relations which are based on mutual respect and joint coordination. He expressed the Kingdom's aspiration to strengthen cooperation with the UK in various fields, noting the importance of exchanging visits between the two countries' officials. The Foreign Affairs Affairs Minister commended the UK's vital role in countering terrorism, asserting that establishing the British naval support in Bahrain reflects the UK's commitment towards Bahrain and the region. He stressed the importance of cooperation between international partners to protect stability and safety. For his part, the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office affirmed the UK's keenness on developing strong historic relations with Bahrain on all levels to enhance the two countries' interests. He noted that Bahrain's development in various fields, wishing Bahrain further advancement and prosperity. The Bahraini British Joint Working Group held its meeting today under the co chairmanship of the Bahraini Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of State for the Middle East at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Alastair Burt. The meeting discussed the progress of the relations between the two kingdoms and means of enhancing them, especially in areas of security, counterterrorism, military cooperation, transportation, communication, aviation, energy, industry, trade, education, and science and innovation, human rights, and combating trafficking in persons, as well as environmental 
social and space issues. It also looked into how to seize all opportunities to advance bilateral relations and continue joint and effective coordination on various issues on all occasions for the benefit of the two countries and friendly people and to contribute to the efforts seeking peaceful solutions to the issues and problems of the region and to establish security worldwide. The two sides underscored the importance of the Bahraini-British Joint Working Group's meeting in pushing forward joint action to achieve the aspirations of the two countries and the two friendly people and push for closer relations between them. The two sides exchanged views on the most important developments on the regional and international arenas and issues of interest to Bahrain and the United Kingdom. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the Supreme Council for Environment in Bahrain and the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, DEFRA in the United Kingdom, represented by the Center for Environment, Fisheries and Aquaculture, Science, CIFAS, present at the meeting were the Transportation and Telecommunications Minister, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, Public Security Chief, Major General Tariq al Hassan, and a number of senior officials from various official bodies and others in Bahrain. The Minister of Housing Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hama participated in the discussion session held at the UN headquarters as part of the high level ministerial forum to follow up on the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals of Member States, organized by the United Nations Human Settlement Program under the theme Together for Comprehensive Cities and Secure Human Settlements. Al Hama affirmed the ministry's keenness on implementing the 11th goal of sustainable development, which stipulates making cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, and sustainable, which stems from the government's interest to achieve the these goals, of which 78% are included in the current government work program. The minister said that the government work program includes a commitment of building 25,000 housing units while strengthening the partnership with the private sector to accelerate the pace of providing housing needs for citizens, which resulted in the distribution of more than 15,000 housing units in the past four years. He added that the next government work program will provide more housing units within the government's efforts to achieve the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa of building 40,000 housing units. He stated that the first national voluntary report presented by Bahrain to the UN includes the steps the kingdom has taken for safe accommodation for all and highlights the provision of housing services for low-income citizens in accordance with housing policies that ensure the equitable distribution of these services. It also highlights giving Bahraini divorced and single women great attention and providing them with housing services. The minister noted the housing achievements during the past few years have motivated the ministry to conduct further studies and reviews of housing policies in the kingdom. The Health Minister Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh paid a visit to inspect the process of unloading shipments of approximately 430 types of medicines at the ministry's main warehouse. Al Saleh's visit comes in accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa to speed up the provision of medicines to meet citizens' needs. The minister was informed of the quantity and types of medicines available at the ministry's warehouses, which have been received earlier according to the two day short term plan set out by the ministry. The minister said the increase in demand for health services calls for intensifying work to make medicines available in hospitals and health centers, stressing the ministry's keenness to support cooperation and coordination with the parties concerned to develop health services to translate the Prime Minister's directives into reality.